All right, kids, today, as you can see, we're gonna be making haroset. Now, the recipe that I'm gonna publish with this calls for two large Granny Smith apples. I don't have those. I have Fuji apples. This entire recipe is those apples, raisins, walnuts, which we couldn't use at the school because we do wanna be as uh, responsive as we can be to the fact that some of our people in our community can't have nuts. This, you'll see in the recipe, I recommend either substituting uh, sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds, but depending on how you celebrate Passover, that may not be allowed for you. There's honey, there's cinnamon, there's salt in this recipe, as well as sweet red wine, because I'm gonna be serving this here at my house and my kids are very, very little. They're like this big. Uh, we're gonna be using grape juice today. It's fine as well. So the only thing that we really need to prep are the apples. I'm gonna move everything else out of the way for now. I'm trying not to spill this cinnamon. I'm gonna be putting these into the food processor, so I don't really need to cut them up all that much. Cut straight down that way, not getting to the seeds. And then I'm just gonna do that same thing all the way around. I'm left with this core area, get rid of that. I'm gonna do the other two apples the same way. Now, because I don't want this to spend a whole lot of time in the food processor, I'm gonna cut these pieces up a little bit more. Big wide dice. You don't have to go as fast as I do. I've had a lot of practice. That's all the knife work you have to do. This is our food processor. It has, so far, just the apples in it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add our cinnamon. A pinch of salt, depends on how big your hands are, how big that pinch is, I'm gonna go with two. Walnuts. Raisins. and our honey. Now, this is not a ton of honey that's going in here because the grape juice itself is pretty darn sweet. Apologies, this is gonna be kinda loud. I just pulsed it twice because I don't want this to be completely mush before I add my grape juice, which I'm going to do now. And I'm going to make sure it gets all the way around in there. And that's about as much as we want to do. This is the texture right here that I like to see in a haro set. I want there to be pieces because uh, we, really we're not making baby food. We're just getting all of this stuff, cho stuff chopped up. You can, if you want to, chop all of this by hand. And if you have an hour, uh, that's not a bad way to burn up an hour while we're all stuck in our houses uh, staring at each other. This serve uh, by itself with just some matzah, or what I'm gonna do is I am going to make with my kids little apple hand pies out of this because I discovered last year making this when I had some left over that it's actually a really good apple pie filling. All right, thanks for watching and I will have the recipe for this put up on our social media as well.